Yo, roommates here. Hope you're doing good. Let's get straight into it. We're reacting to the EA Sports FC 24 official Ultimate Team Deep Dive. Welcome back to our EA Sports FC 24 Deep Dive series. I'm Lee Ravel, and I am here with two experts, Gene and Richard, from the development team to chat through what might be the biggest year in Ultimate Team. How are we doing, guys? Hey, Leah. Hello. There's so many new things we have to talk through today. The ability So to that's the new double walkout animation. I don't understand why Haaland was shown after Son. He's the higher rated player. I would have thought he'd show first, but I kind of like it. To improve players in our club with the brand new Ultimate Team Evolutions, the inclusion of women's football and play styles. Let's get straight into it. First up, we have to talk about Ultimate Team Evolutions. Are you telling me that I can finally improve player? Let's have a look at this screen. Player requirements on the right hand side. It looks like there are some maximum requirements that the player you pick to evolve can have. It kind of makes sense, I guess. You can't really be involving someone like Mbappe who's probably 91, 92 rated. That'll be a bit OP. So yeah, it makes sense that you'd evolve the lower rated players. From my club. That's right. We've never had anything quite like this in Ultimate Team. There's so much to love about what this unlocks for people's passion. Just having a quick look at those challenges. Play three matches. Okay. Seems easy enough for players regardless of where they're at in their development richard you want to explain how this works yeah so in all <laughs> sort of reminds me of pokemon the evolutions in the team evolutions you're going to be able to pick your favorite players and upgrade them throughout the year plus one weak foot we saw there and there's plus 10 reactions so in individual stats weak foot in shooting pretty straightforward all you have to do is pick your favorite players complete objectives with them and then get their upgrades for example you complete 20 passes with them, get two assists, and that completes level one and earns you plus 10 short passing and also upgrades their weak foot. You'll also be able to level up the player's item so that your club favorites stand out when you load. Just looking at that. It's going to take some getting used to seeing the women's footballers and the men's footballers mix. You've got the James siblings on the left-hand side, well, the right-hand side there. That company card looked good. Into a match. Love that. Moving on to one of my favorite things that I'm so excited to talk about. Women's football is coming to Ultimate Team. You got it. The Ultimate Team dream is obviously to assemble your favorite footballers from around the world into an Ultimate 11. This is the biggest addition of top tier players we've ever introduced into the game at one time. It's called Ultimate Team. If you're not able to play with your favorite players, it's not really your Ultimate Team. So this year with the... So that squad screen looks very similar. I mean, there's not really too much you can change, I guess. The chem system looks similar as well. The card design, it's growing on me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Introduction of more leagues and with evolutions especially, you're gonna be able to make your ultimate team and it's not gonna look like anybody else's. Love it. So, new players, some new leagues. With the introduction of women's football, how will chemistry work putting all of these new players into my ultimate team? Well, chemistry will remain the same. For example, Sam Kerr will link to WSL players, her fellow Australians, and is going to link up with Chelsea players. So in Sam Kerr's case, she'll link to Lauren James and Reese James. I love that. So the club links, even if it's a women's player, but not the league. That's what they're saying there. And what about heroes and icons? Can you tell the people if we expect any new ones? Yeah, absolutely. You're going to be able to reach those card designs. Look very nice to be fair back into the history books to play with some of the greatest players from the past but we know that the community Tevez. has been wanting a change when it comes to icon chemistry so when you have an icon in your team they're going to apply a plus one league link to anybody in your squad so that just opens up more squad building opportunities and more ways for you to make your team plus one league link for icons to every player in your squad i really like that will these new players pop into packs like everyone else yes indeed Every player in Ultimate Team will share the same packs, the same pitch, and will be included in promos throughout the year. Speaking of packs, something I'm really excited about. This year we have new sets, we have new animations, including my personal favorite, a two-player walkout. So if you pack two really great players, they're both going to walk out at the same time. I'm still not understanding why Son is shown first, but yeah, men and women are going to be in packs together. That's awesome. Well, I'm starting to put things together. Five new leagues, 
thanks to women's football plus it'll be interesting to see if they have men's only packs and women's only packs we'll see heroes and icons and then players that i decide to improve via ultimate team evolutions every that animation was really cool for the evolution or evolution turned american for a second every squad is going to be so versatile so different i love that that's exactly what we're what's going on with some of these pictures why are they not centered those cars do not look good there especially that hero on the right hand side what's going on there anyway we're hoping for each of these new why do they look like that why are they off center that my ocd no features should unlock a world of new squad building opportunities strike on 87 at the top like head finishes halfway down the card uh yeah i'm not particularly liking that your club should feel personal and unique so this is a great year for you to make your ultimate team truly yours i have to mention this new item design because we haven't talked about it yet and that's something that stood out to me right away it's a big change you're right redesigning the items was a chance to bring your favorite footballers into focus and helps you understand them at a glance the new layout makes room for bigger images more key information than ever before like lead crest for chemistry and even animated backgrounds. And you'll notice new information as well. So those play styles plus that you see on the left side of the item, these essentially will let you know what makes that player special on the pitch and how to get the most out of them in the game. I have to say that is a lot of play styles and play styles plus. Hopefully it's not too complex to understand. Yes, yes. I was actually watching this in the gameplay deep dive the other day and those sound amazing. And it's interesting that you can see those on the left side of the card. Amazing. Are play styles a big part of the gameplay dynamic in Ultimate Team? Absolutely. That skill was They're cold. They're a feature that takes gameplay beyond overall ratings. Play styles and play styles plus are how we're bringing those signature abilities to life so that players are more unique and play more like their real world styles. Damn, what a strike. Yeah, play styles plus especially are something to look out for. These signature abilities that are unique to world class. Oh, wait, who just won that header against the who? Best players are something to look out for. These signature. I can't even make out who's losing that header, but. Signature abilities that are unique Bruh. to world class athletes are reserved only for the best players. You'll notice the difference when playing with players that have them. So only the best players will have play styles plus. Makes sense. Yeah, they're a great way to understand and get the best out of the players on the pitch and a great way to know how to build a squad that has complementary skills and strengths. I love it. Let's talk a little bit about objectives. Yeah. Show a lot of the women's players scoring headers. Yeah, well, we've been working hard to give you more focus and direction when you load up Ultimate Team. With the new objectives menu, it's easier to understand what to play for and get back to the action. These menus look quite nice, I have to say that. There's also new navigation and a new quick switcher to cycle between modes so you can go straight from your squad to rivals or from SBCs to the transfer market. And there's another thing. That is interesting. Claim all. You'll finally be able Thank to gather goodness, all your it's about from damn time. Yes, yes, I know how. These Women's World Cup objectives at the moment where you get like the banners or whatever they're called, claiming them is so long much the community has been asking for that one myself included are there any other changes that we can tell them about well i mean we've also made a little tweak to how players change position anyone with a secondary position will automatically switch to that new position so you'll no longer need to get position modifiers and keep toggling your players back and forth again that completely makes sense position changes if they have a secondary position you should just be able to put them there but Looking at some of these players, 91 Henri, 91 Eusebio, 90 Hullet, 91 Cafu. We'll get onto it, but I did see that there are only base icons now and that there'll be other icons released throughout campaigns. So we'll see what that's like. Fourth in different roles. And this change will make SPCs a lot more seamless. And you'll finally be able to use a player's secondary position in draft and get them some chemistry. That's amazing. Well, players guys, still look off center. Thank you so, so, so much. It's been a pleasure to talk through Ultimate Team with the both of you. It feels some really good stuff like there, though, I have to say. Mode, Ultimate Team Evolution, women's football, play styles. I cannot wait to get started. Thanks for chatting with us. Yeah, thanks for having us, Leah. This has been me, Leah Ravel, signing off, and we will see you back for more deep dives. Welcome to the club. Okay. 
Pre-order by 22nd of August for those goodies. All right, we're just going to read the pitch notes as well. So it's talking about evolutions. What's happening here? You're about to lock this player to this evolution. Start evolution. Boom. The card changes. I think when you make them an evolution player, it makes them untradeable. So a bit of a coin sink there, I guess. Got the challenges there. Yeah, ultimate team evolutions. It looks like they're just calling it ultimate team on a lot of the text that they have instead of foot or FIFA ultimate team, obviously, but not football ultimate team. They're just saying ultimate team. Ultimate team evolutions is a powerful new system that changes how you think about and build up your squad. For the first time, you'll be able to improve and customize players from your club. I do like that, I have to say. I've been calling for it for a while. You can take your favorite lower rated players from any club and level them up as well as tweak and customize your top players by adding skill moves, changing work rates and weak for upgrades as a few examples. So there is saying you can only upgrade the lower rated players through evolutions. It kind of makes sense. So I was saying if you had Haaland or Mbappe and you're able to upgrade them, they could get a bit insane. So it makes sense to be fair. As you level up your players, you'll also earn visual upgrades to show off all the work you've put into them. After you evolve a player once, that's just the beginning. You'll be able to run the same player through multiple evolutions throughout the year. So by the end of the year, you can have unique versions of players that no one else has. I mean, that'll be interesting with my player reviews. I don't really know how we'll fit that in. But anyway, with the addition of women's leagues and evolutions, this is the year where you can finally build your ultimate team. So it's saying because now there's women, you can pick all the players that you like. There's evolutions. You can level up players who perhaps aren't that good on the game so i hear it what's this and this is just a evolution animation plus 10 reactions plus six shooting fair how does it work what's an evolution you can upgrade and evolve your players by committing them to an evolution slot and completing gameplay challenges with that player so you have to commit them to an evolution slot once you complete the challenges the player will have permanent upgrades okay requirements not every player is eligible for every evolution you'll have to check the requirements to know what players you're allowed to use an example of this might be evolve any silver player or evolve a left back with three star skill moves okay a selection of evolutions will be freely available for players to enter each season and some will have coins or coin slash points requirements so yeah you might have to pay to evolve a certain player just like the balance of upgrades coming through SBCs, objectives and the transfer market, we want to make sure evolutions, upgrade paths are balanced across ultimate team. Okay, good. Challenges. Each evolution comes with a set of levels of challenges for you to complete. They can range from a simple play five games where you score with this player in your starting 11 to challenging win 10 ultimate team champs matches with this player. Is that what they're calling it now? Ultimate team champs. Okay. Complete all of the challenges in a level to earn the upgrades and unlock the more levels of challenges to complete. Okay, all makes sense. Upgrades, you can claim upgrades for your player. After each level of challenge you complete, they'll range from overall stat upgrades, for example, plus five overall, that's a big upgrade, or hyper-specific attribute upgrades, for example, plus five curve. That'll be good if you complete, score 10 finesse shots or something. It would make sense. You can even customize and upgrade the following skill moves, work rates, play styles, alternative positions, and weak foot. You can also unlock new item visuals and animated backgrounds for your favorite players. That's really good to be honest. Some of the backgrounds even here look really nice throughout the season. Yeah, this one here looks crazy. And even this one kind of looks like they're leveling up even though they're rated 69 the whole way through anyway. Our goal is to keep evolutions feeling fresh and updated. Very good. We will be adding more ways for you to evolve your squad throughout the season. Some evolutions might only be available for a limited time and will need to be completed in a specific time frame. Okay, like you'll have a week to do score 10 goals with a certain player. That's fine. Or some will need to be enrolled in by a specific time. We'll be sharing more details about evolutions in an upcoming pitch notes deep dive. Okay, again, these cards look really nice here, to be fair. Here are some FAQs. Can I add an Evolutions player to the transfer market? No, you cannot. Once a player has been confirmed in an Evolution, it becomes untradeable. So as I was saying, that's a coin sink. How many players can I evolve at a time? You can have as many Evolution players in your squad as you want, but you can only activate 
one to upgrade at a time so they don't want you having your whole team full of all of your evolutions players completing all of their objectives at the same time you can only do one at a time i understand it's a shame though <laughs> can i switch back and forth between players i want to upgrade or do i have to finish the entire evolution before i move on you can swap back and forth between your evolutions freely that is good if you're working on a silver player evolution and don't want to bring them into your champs matches you can switch to a more appropriate evolution player in your main squad and work on them that is very good and makes sense. What happens to my progress if I switch which evolution I'm working on? Your progress is saved. When you pick up that player and continue to evolve them, you will start right from where you left off. Good. Can I withdraw my item from an evolution? No. Each evolution can be completed by only one player and you cannot withdraw your player or forfeit the evolution. So yeah, once you evolve them or choose to evolve them, they're gone. They're not tradable anymore, sorry. Can I use evolution players in SBCs in progress evolution? Wow, players cannot be submitted into SBCs. However, once the player item is fully upgraded and the evolution is completed, then you can use them in SBCs. It's interesting you can't submit them while it's in progress, but anyway. Do evolutions have time limits? Yes, evolutions can have time restrictions. If the evolution timer runs out, you will earn all of the upgrades for the levels that you have completed. You will not be able to claim the upgrades for any uncompleted or partially completed levels. Makes sense. Can I enroll the same player in multiple evolutions? Yes. If the player meets the eligibility requirements, it can be enrolled in multiple slots, but a player cannot be in multiple slots simultaneously. A player can be enrolled in a new evolution once their current one is completed that's interesting so you can keep on evolving the same player sounds good is the evolution version of the player a duplicate of the initial item no an evolution is a unique item type so yeah it sounds all really interesting to be honest how will i know which player i'm upgrading during gameplay there will be an overhead indicator on the player you are actively evolving i think we saw that in the trailer that a little icon there Hopefully it's not too intrusive when you're playing and distracts you, but yeah, I mean, it all sounds good. I really like the idea of evolving players and I do think it needs to be the lower rated players. So if you have some lower rated players that you happen to like, evolve them. There's a section here on women's football in Ultimate Team. I mean, we know that already. There'll be five new leagues from England, France, Germany, Spain and the United States. A select number of clubs and their players from the Women's Champions League will be available in Ultimate Team at launch, unlocking even more squad building possibilities. Okay, looks like that'll be a sort of separate league, maybe like the Libertadores. So that's interesting. Will men and women's footballers compete on the same pitch? We already know that. Yes, they will. How will chemistry work? So yeah, if they're at the same club, they'll get a chem point for that. But their league will be different, as you can see with the example of the James siblings. How are men's football and women's football player items integrated across features in Ultimate Team? Evolutions, you can evolve both. Icons and heroes, there'll be men and women of both. Transfer market, there'll be both in the transfer market. Packs, there'll be both in packs. Objectives, there'll be objectives for both. Okay. SBCs, you can submit both. Okay. Moments, again both. Draft, again both. That's sort of a pointless section. Just say men and women will be together across the whole of Ultimate Team. That's what they're saying. How do Ultimate Team ratings work now? All players in Ultimate Team are rated relative to the leagues and competition they play against on the real world pitch. The best players from the best leagues across the men's and women's games will bring their ratings to the same virtual pitch in Ultimate Team. Base player ratings will be consistent with kickoff in AFC 24 where men's and women's teams play independently. For example, if a player is 85 rated in kickoff, they'll also have a base overall of 85 in Ultimate Team. Look out for the ratings that will be revealed in September. We look forward to that. All right, we've got a section here on play styles. They introduced a brand new dynamic to Ultimate Team that goes beyond overall ratings, allowing you to build your squad based on your knowledge of the players and how they actually play on the pitch. Each of the play styles affect gameplay, giving your players unique capabilities you'll see and feel that make their way of playing more authentic. Play styles plus enhance those signature abilities to a world-class standard think of sam kerr's power header or harlan's acrobatic ability reflecting elite player abilities to play at a level that few others can reach 
Okay, sounds interesting. 86 win the 88 Haaland. Haaland's got to be higher rated than that, but I know it's for the illustration only. Playstyles are going to change how you glance at teams from scanning across the transfer market or eyeing up your opponent's squad in the pre-match flow. You're going to want to pay attention to which playstyles each player has. I mean, you might see that the opponent has like a chip shot playstyle and you'd be more wary to bring your keeper out. That could be an example. They can be a good indicator of how your opponent will want to play and what their gameplay strategy might be. In this article, we'll focus on how they will change your experience in Ultimate Team. Anyway, if a player has a playstyle plus, an icon is displayed on the face of the item. That's the thing on the left hand side. You can find further details on playstyles in one of the item views as well as in the player bio. So, here, as I was saying, there are quite a lot of playstyles there. Hopefully, not too complicated and hopefully, it is balanced. That's the main thing. If you pack a player from a league you aren't familiar with but they have a playstyle plus on them, they're most likely worth checking out and experimenting with. That's a good point, actually. Another great way of experimenting with playstyle plus items is by prioritizing the these players in your ultimate team draft picks try and use them in draft post launch updates on play styles although only the best of the best will have a playstyle plus at launch we'll be releasing more versions of players with diverse playstyles in our campaigns throughout the year campaigns promos okay you will also be able to customize your players in evolutions as add different playstyles to them throughout the year sounds good i do like this card design here section here on objectives objectives is one of the most popular and engaging features of ultimate team and we wanted to freshen it up for eafc 24 with all of the great content in ultimate team it can sometimes be hard to find what's right for you objective groups will now be organized across multiple tabs so you can find play and manage your progress easier that screen there looks really nice by the way. While our objectives can be extremely fun, how we presented them in the past could feel a bit dry. Some objectives groups will now have theme backgrounds so the energy and personality of our campaigns can really shine through. I mean, I'm not sure how much a nice background will impact you having to grind 30 games in the level up promo for example, but anyway, down here, claim all, thank goodness for this there are a lot of great rewards in objectives and they can quickly pile up for the most engaged players we want you to get back to the action faster and thus we've introduced a new claim all button i don't know why they couldn't have just done that in fifa 23 but anyway thank goodness it's here now pressing claim all will redeem all rewards from completed objectives within a single objective group and send the rewards to your club again surely that was an easy fix but anyway thank goodness it's here now final section on community improvements we really value our players and the feedback that you'll provide we hear you thank you that is good and we draw a lot of inspiration and prioritize ideas from everything you share with us in the forums and on social media for ultimate team in efc 24 it was important for us to dedicate time to tackle some of the most requested quality of life changes in and improvements i'm really grateful for that please keep sharing your feedback with us it's much appreciated okay if you're drawing late in the game and they quit you should get the win. EA, I hope you're listening. Item design. As you've probably noticed, we made some changes to our item designs. Yes, I'm sure we've all noticed by now. By changing the information architecture on the items, we have created 30% more space for the athletes' photos and dynamic images. This also gives more breathing room to let the campaign item designs shine. Again, I'm still not sold it i did say it was growing on me but when they showed it on the screen in that video i, I don't know the, the players pictures were like off center it just didn't look good but anyway new player item layout and wider items all items in the game have had their shapes changed to a new wider version the player item face view has significant changes to the layout with more room for the player to portrait and background art moving the club and nation crest to the bottom of the item as well as introducing the league crest on the items attributes on a single line and adding the first owner status okay that's what that little one in the triangle is then that makes sense special item enhancements for our special slash inform item shells we've made some enhancements to make them stand out more like expanding on embellishments and having the art break out of the shells animated backgrounds for a select few of our item shells will be introducing exciting new customized animations that bring the art to life this night card looks really good i have to say position modifier removal and club search improvements so this is what they mentioned in the video to make squad building even easier we've completely removed the position modifier consumables i mean it makes sense there's that spc you get them basically for free anyway you can now seamlessly move the player items around the squad and the player will automatically start contributing to chemistry in their primary and alternative positions well done ea the change is also available in spcs and ultimate team draft offering more flexibility and making building your squads easier than ever thank you quality of life contracts 
need to go. What's the point? There is no real point. Club search. Speaking of SBCs and searching your club, we hear you. We've made sure to hide those loan players when you're squad building in SBCs. I mean, why, why can you see loans in the SBC screen? But thank you for changing it. Well done to EA. In addition, we're changing the way position searches work in your club. The default position search will now include both primary and alternative positions. That makes sense. Making squad building much easier. Good. If you want, you can also narrow down the search to only focus on primary positions. Doesn't really matter though, does it? Please note that the combined search will only be available for your club. Transfer market search will continue to focus on primary positions only. Okay, that makes it simple at least. Icon changes, chemistry and versions. From launch, icons will have a single base version to be aligned with heroes and regular player items. What do we think of that? Obviously there were base, mid and prime moments all these sorts of icons it kind of makes sense to just have a base icon to be honest and then they're going to release additional icons throughout the campaigns promos in the year i think i'm a fan to be honest i don't think there's a need for all those different icons and it will make them sort of in line with the current players so as you can see there's a dan 94 we saw earlier omri 91 i think eusebio 91 hullet 90 it sort of balances it out but anyway in eafc 24 each icon in your squad will now give an additional chemistry contribution to every league that's represented in your squad that's brilliant if you add two icons that's two chemistry contributions guaranteeing at least one chemistry point for each league this league contribution is in addition to the nation chemistry that's excellent icons are actually going to be good for your chem now also we are excited for our debut class of efc women's icons and heroes celebrating the pioneers who shaped the game as we know it featuring legends such as miaham sonia bompasta alex scott and more okay very good item improvements did you pack a cool new kit or tifo you can now manually equip customization items directly from the new item screen thank goodness i mean it makes sense equipped customization items will automatically take the next available slot in your stadium good if none are available an already equipped customization item will be replaced it just makes sense doesn't it did you open a pack with a lot of untradeable duplicate pair items you can now swap them in bulk with their tradable versions in your club that's very good last but not least you can now find your favorite lengthy players easier than ever with the introduction of accelerate types in the player bio again makes sense thank you very much ea what i will say is duplicate player items you should be able to stack them they are your cards after all you shouldn't have to discard one because they're a duplicate you should be able to save them for when you want to use them in an sbc ea i hope you're listening to that as well new menus we've streamlined the navigation in ultimate team to get you where you need to be faster than ever with the help of the quick switcher you can seamlessly jump between squad transfer market objectives your favorite game mode and other areas in ultimate team i mean that looks really nice to be fair looks clean give me those coins please and those fifa points not fifa points sorry what are they called now those you know what i'm chatting about squad battles match length here's what we're going to end on the feedback from the community regarding squad battles has been that matches feel too long tell me about it when you make us do them for the objectives we are happy to announce that in eafc 24 we are reducing the length of each half from six minutes to four minutes so you can make the most out of each time you pick up the controller thank you ea but yeah what do you think of these changes i have to say a lot of them are really good i love the quality of life improvements yeah it's looking quite promising to be honest but yeah let me know what you think of it all in the comment section it's been your boy roommates take care